I'll begin with a question. When will COVID end? Well, the pandemic is finally about to get over. The virus has weakened and the cases have gone down. The infections are not so serious either. Here now is a report. All these things are in the mind of World Health Organization and its top brass sits down to take the call to announce the end of a global health emergency. On January 30th, 2020, the global health body sounded its highest alarm over what it then called the novel coronavirus. Well, the virus is still on the prowl, but it has seemingly lost its bite, and thankfully so. Life is back to normal, the era of work from home is over, and we are back to meeting and greeting as we used to earlier. But the initial two years were no less than a nightmare. The cases started to surge, no country was spared. The coronavirus struck hard, hospitals were overwhelmed. About 765 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been reported to the WHO from around the world. The highly infectious coronavirus disease was first detected in Wuhan in China in December 2019. On the 30th of January, it was declared a global health emergency. And on the 11th of March, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. As cases rose, governments around the world took some harsh decisions. Lockdowns were imposed, people were forced to remain indoors, the scenes were apocalyptic, bustling streets were empty, malls, offices, cafes, markets, schools all seemed as haunted places. But hospitals were overwhelmed. In the middle of 2021, the Delta variant caused havoc. Patients gasped for breath. Healthcare systems around the world crumbled. This forced governments to reimpose the lockdowns. The logic was to save lives at the cost of livelihoods. And now finally, while we are back to our normal lives, the global economy continues to feel the pang of the pandemic. WHO's Emergency Committee meets every three months to discuss the pandemic. It reports to WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who then decides whether COVID-19 remains a so-called public health emergency, the highest level of alert. WHO estimates that COVID-19 deaths have dropped by 95% since the start of the year. Meanwhile, more than 13.3 billion vaccine doses have been administered. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.